Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Memory here. We're here everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Kubikiri Cycle. This being the fourth episode, and we're still trying to find out who done it with the murder of Konami. I love what they did with the previous episode with Ichan and Tomo putting together pieces of the evidence, and I would say some progress was made, but we still don't really know who uh, committed the murder of Konami. So let's see how we move forward with this episode. We're going to hop right into it. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to hop into this in three, two, one. Something illegal, and you already know it has to do with the computer technology gathering data. <laughs> 12 people in total. So minus them, 10. Oh, so she's going and looking into all the people here on the island between them, or besides them, excuse me. Chief Kun. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> the Seeker. Anything, you say? Anything in the galaxy? <laughs> it's a pretty wide uh, range, right? Yeah, and even Ichan's like, the galaxy. Oh, <laughs> that's that's crazy. So now I'm kind of curious about this Chikun individual. So we have that now, oh my gosh. <laughs> and like I was saying in the previous episode, like this this is how you go about doing sort of like a you know, a murder mystery. Now there have been shows I've watched where you know, mur murder mysteries are kind of drawn out and they actually go ahead and gather the evidence and it you know, it's not solved pretty quickly, but there are also those shows where, where it's like was this even a murder mystery to begin with? Like, why was this even a thing? <laughs> and some characters were like, like that. But, you know, the way most of the episode was spent in episode three, just them piecing together the evidence, I loved that. I loved that. Shinya, uh, remember, we got to remember in episode three as well, they took the body away from the, the scene of the murder, and they went ahead and apparently buried it, so, yeah. Day four with two in parentheses, the point one four tragedy. And she was the one, the owner of the island, who didn't want to call the police. So there's that too that is still in my mind. <laughs> like that's still there. That would be me. You instantly asking that. She's getting all the way stripped down here. I am. <laughs> I mean, they all uh, suspect her the most, too. That's why she's... Yeah. <laughs> Geniuses are not equal under law. I mean, honestly, I'd probably rather deal with this the switch situation here than being you're getting the law involved. Like, I'm not gonna lie, but I I just thought that was kind of curious. But I mean, 
She kind of gives a little explanation there. But she also is saying that the the Jun character, who I think is a girl, someone was like asked me in the previous episode, how do you know if she's a girl? I mean, there's two guys on this whole island, so I guess I'm just kind of assuming that it's yeah the Jun Aikawa girl or <laughs> whatever, but <laughs> and that that person she thinks is going to solve this or you'll figure this out like that. That's what. Uh, Ilya is waiting on. Now, I've I've heard her name pronounced Ilya or Iria, like I R I A. I don't know which one's correct, but in the subtitles here, they have like Ilya, like two, like an I then a L. So. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Was she not want her want him seeing the whatever Tomo's? Mm. That's what it is. That's not normal because usually they all gather here, right? That much, huh? Huh. <laughs> Harley des deserves the title of Devil Incarnate. <laughs> I want to know what Tomo found out or what she <laughs> what, what she found out for the people on the island. What did she make a mistake or something in the on the, on the painting or I air or mess up? <laughs> She's like, huh? The way you put that? <laughs> you gotta literally like force her in that fashion to... <laughs> Very observant, Ichan of, of Tomo. 
Very. Doesn't suspect her, doesn't. With the, with the series like this, though, I feel like I can't leave anyone out of the question or anyone out of the, like... Even the, even the maids, even the little maid girls, like... What is trust anymore, man? Like, for real. Like, especially in this day and age. Like, what's... Man, look where they're keeping her. They, it's pretty nice here. I, I wouldn't mind this. Shit. It's pretty beautiful, actually. You don't. You don't. <laughs> so does so, does someone else know? Like Tomo or So Akane's figured out the, the whole locked room thing, apparently. Still a mystery to her though, what, who the, the killer is or doesn't. Right. And that that may, that makes sense. Oh. When asked about like, what if Tomo? <laughs> you know, came to him and, and asked him, like, what if, you know, something about killing him, about Ichan, then, then, you know, he says absolutely not that he wouldn't give consent to someone else to kill, like, you know, to for him to be murdered, but...
I mean, you know, I've said this before. At the end of the day, only you know, you own the what you have really is yourself. At the you know, when it comes down to it. It's not even a love thing, but just that he wants to be. Okay. And she's really breaking down his character right now. <laughs> she's, she's getting into it. I was just about to say that's where the title of the episode comes from. Genius is born from not fitting in. Take her to bed? Are you talking about like sex? <laughs> like that? Like. Really? She's just saying is like, is it when it's meant to be, it's meant to be, <laughs> no matter who it is or when or where. I agree. I can't can't disagree with that. <laughs> I love her with it, with her hair like that. <laughs> so that's that's not me. So I I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh wow, this is so sweet. Right. 
paint everywhere. It would have left a bunch of frickin' footprints and... Right? Yeah. That's why there was a, it'd be a lack of footprints if it happened before the earthquake. Shinya talked to her after the earthquake. I'm trying to follow her. I'm trying. You would think so. So they're saying before the earthquake, the paint must have already been spilled over? Oh, okay. So after the earthquake, yeah, definitely. Just to, you know, kind of put a little halt to it right there. She said, you know, she got, she, you know, she was okay with herself getting locked up. Her reaction to that, hold up, hold up. Why is she here? What? Is she? That's, yo, know, hold up, that's suspect, man. <laughs> That's a big uh kind of like blinker for me. <laughs> like Wait, what does that say? Konami and Akane were spotted having lunch? About six months ago. Yeah. Why them and what was said or what was the purpose of that 
<laughs> what Akane says is probably like racing through his head right now about like getting in bed with her and doing the business. <laughs> At least that's what I think she was referring to or getting to. How would you not want to join her or be with her after that? After that, like I'd be, I'd be there. <laughs> so that means she's done something before. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> the question is what? Maybe I'm just get I'm a freaking pervert. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That'd be on it <laughs> on his mind. What she what she said to him. Make you. That's Akane hit it right on the on the, the uh the nail on the head. He's already done that. Wait, they've already. Not with love, but destruction. What? So wait, did they do something already? Like that? Damn. So that makes me like, like, ah, oh, dude. Just the way Akane in this episode literally, I know I still don't even totally like what she was going on and on and on about, about uh, with Ichan's character, like, and not it being like a love thing, which I thought it like maybe was a, a love thing. Like it's so weird with him and Tomo, like that relationship. For, like you know it just in general from from the beginning for me at least that's how i've saw it you know how it's been but he you know he has this thing where you know to, compared to tomo right like she's obviously a genius she's like one of a kind and he wants to he wants to be that one that only one you know chosen for her at least you know that's how akane broke it down i mean even ichan was thinking about that at the at the end of the episode there and saying that he has done something like that with her before, and that it wasn't for a, you know love or anything, but destruction. So that is like, I was not expecting that <laughs> whatsoever. Um, but also, I'm gonna pause this. It's uh, there's nothing after the ED anyway. But something else that. Uh, I would say is a big thing that we got in this episode was the the whole locked room thing and figuring out that and that like I didn't even think of it like that like it's pretty simple like when it's explained right but like I was that, that didn't even cross my mind that you know the earthquake happens right the shelves of course would have you know were knocked over and all that there's probably some paint spilled over but the whole like river just how much paint was there you know in general like, yeah, there definitely wouldn't have been, you know, that much, I'd say, from the, the shelves falling over, you know, as much as we saw. So, and because, and that, see, that was what I was thinking. I was like, you know, if the, if, if it did happen after the earthquake, then there would have been footprints everywhere. But that little gap in there where the, where the killer could have came in after the earthquake, you know, done the murder and then covered it up with paint. Damn. 
and like Ichan says, that opens it up to a whole wide, you know, margin of 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 suspects. So, yeah, damn. But then uh, Hikari, which is one of the maids, uh, her being asked the question, like, why is Ilya here? Why is she here in the first place from Tomo? And she just, like, the look on her face, I was like, yo, hold up. Something's up there. Like, there, there's... She she couldn't even answer. She didn't answer it. So, oh, man. Pretty pretty big step. Pretty big progress made um, <laughs> with, the, with the whole murder mystery and all that. And also, an, another thing that we learned at the end of this episode was that uh, Akane and Konami had lunch together, like, six months ago in Chicago. So there's that too. Another, just another thing added to the to the whole thing, which is I would say going to be important to to this, you know, where we're at right now. Um. But yeah. Also, like I talked about before, just Akane going in on on Ichan's character, and like you know, just pretty much how she sees his character, what she's come to, you know, re pretty much like a character study of him. And she just like laid that all out there in this episode, like, yeah. You know, <laughs> like I, I talked about this at the beginning of the series, yo. Like this is this is definitely gonna be one that, like, I'm gonna have to rewatch. I I already know. I already know. Like it, it's gonna be one of those because there is a lot to you know take in. There is a lot being said, and it, it's you know I, I'm I'm kind of like fascinated by it almost, in, 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 like in a sense too. Like when uh, when Tomo was talking about. You know, she was breaking down the whole earthquake thing, the locked room and all that. Like, how she was, you know, putting it. I, for, I forget exactly how she put it, but she was saying, like, something about, like, like she took example A, example B, and then she was somehow, like, the, the just the way she explained it, I was, like, so fascinated by it, but it wasn't even really totally clicking with me until she, went, you know, even went more so into it. Um, She said something about, like, B being caused by A, but A... See, I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> I don't, but I was, like, pretty fascinated by that. I was trying to follow along, trying to, you know, but, yeah. Pretty, pretty solid episode once again. Let me know what you all thought of it. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.